Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so this will be um, the first of at least three videos on Pell's equation. And Pell's equation is an equation of this form. Um, and in this video, I'm just going to show you how to solve an equation of this form in general. So I'll show you how to solve this equation for any D. Um, now, uh, the solutions we're after are integer values of X and Y. So we're looking for integral solutions. When D is equal to one, the equation turns into this. And when D is equal to two, the equation turns into this. And it turns out that certain values of D, like D equals two here, uh, give us equations whose solutions have interesting meanings. For example, um, when D is equal to two, um, so when we solve this equation here, um, the solutions give us a way to find triangular square numbers. An example of a triangular square number is 36. Uh, because you can take 36 dots and arrange them either as a square or as an equilateral triangle. Uh, and when um, d is equal to 6, uh, we get this equation, which is x squared minus 6y squared is equal to 1. And it turns out that the solutions to this equation allow us a way to find uh, square pentagonal numbers. Yeah? Okay, cool, cool, cool. So because... Um, both of these equations are interesting. I'm gonna dedicate another video on Pell's equation to discussing uh, both of these equations, in particular, this first one in great detail. Uh, and I'm gonna title that um, triangular square numbers and more. Pell's equation and then dash triangular uh, square numbers and more. So look out for that video. All right, uh, but uh, let's get back to the task at hand. And here we're just gonna learn how to solve them. Um, and this was x squared minus 2y squared equals 1. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now, first, let's start with solutions to this equation. Notice that the only solution to this equation um, is uh, plus or minus 1, comma, 0. And you can do it by inspection, right? And uh, we're going to look for positive integer solutions, x and y. And so, you know, we're going to say that this is just a trivial solution. And moreover, because we have the negative 1, uh, we want to at least improve on that and write just one comma zero as a solution to this, right? But the only solution to uh, this equation um, is plus or minus one comma zero. And if we're looking for uh, at least making uh, one of x and y positive, then we'll say that the only solution is one comma zero. Obviously, we can't do anything about the y being zero. And that's so because uh, the only squares that are one apart are zero squared and one, one squared. So it makes sense that the only solution to this equation is one comma zero. Yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, so trivial solution again is one comma zero. Now, um, for that reason, we do not allow D uh, to be a square because if D was uh, a square, so D was C squared for some integer C, then look at the equation. The equation will turn to uh, X squared uh, minus C squared Y squared uh, equals 1, which we can write as x squared uh, minus and then cy squared equals 1. And uh, the only solution to this, as we already said, is a trivial solution. So we cannot allow for uh, d to be a square. So d is not equal to c squared. Let's add that. Okay, all right. Otherwise, um, how do we solve these equations? Okay, uh, first is uh, we can do this, which is we can isolate x squared and write x squared is equal to uh, dy squared plus 1. And since we're looking for, um, since we're seeking positive uh, integer values, uh, we can start with y equals 1 and then plug that in to this right-hand side and look for uh, this right-hand side to be a square. If it's not, then we can plug in y equals 2 and then 3 and so on. And so... This is a brutal way to get there, but we can find solutions use, uh, using this strategy, right? Just try different values of y and look for this to be um, a perfect square or a square, right? Okay, cool, cool, cool. So if we implement this strategy uh, on this equation, then we'll have to first write x squared is equal to uh, 2y squared plus 1. And then uh, when we try y equals 1, uh, we get... Uh, x squared is equal to uh, 3, no good. When y is equal to 2, we get x squared is equal to 2 times 2 squared, so 2 times 4, plus 1, uh, 9, bingo. 
because that means that uh, x is equal to 3, right? And so uh, we see that uh, a solution is 3 comma 2. So we have found one solution. And uh, if you keep going with uh, trying more values of y, you'll have to go all the way to y equals 12 before you find another solution. Uh, but when um, y is equal to 12, uh, when y is equal to 12, we also get um, we also get that um, x squared will equal uh, what is it? Uh, two times uh, 12 squared is 144. So two times 144 is 288 plus one is 289. So I believe uh, 289 is 17 squared. So it turns out that 17 comma um, comma 12 is another solution after uh, three comma two, right? So uh, these are two solutions. Okay, cool. Uh, but again, this is a brutal way to do it, right? Uh, and so there's got to be a better way. And yes, there is. There's a better way. And that better way is this. You first have to use the strategy I just showed you to find one solution. Uh, but you only need to find one solution. Once you have one solution, say this solution, then you can get more by doing the following. Um, and this is how you generally solve these. So um, let's take our equation here. And so if you have this equation and you have that uh, x comma y solves it, then take the number alpha is equal to x plus um, y root d and raise alpha to different powers. So take alpha to the n. Um, so with n equals uh, 2, 3, dot, dot, dot. Then if we call for a number of this form, if we call um, x and y coefficients, then the coefficients of alpha to the n for 2, 3, so on, will also be solutions whenever xy is a solution. So this is the way we should solve. Um, all right, cool, cool, cool. So what we're saying is um, for the um, equation where d is equal to 2, we first found um, one solution by the earlier strategy. That is, we have x squared minus 2y squared um, equals 1. And by our, our earlier strategy, we found that uh, 3, 2 uh, was a solution. But then by what I just stated here, uh, it should mean that if we write alpha is equal to 3 plus uh, y, which is 2, root d, and d is 2 here, so root d will be root 2. If we take this alpha and raise alpha to, not alpha, but raise alpha to different powers, um, n, starting with n equals uh, 2, then the coefficients, as we said, the coefficients will be like, this number and this number will also make a pair of solutions x comma y. Is that true? Well, let's try it. So we already have our one solution here and we have our alpha right here and let's try alpha squared. Will that work? Well, alpha squared will have to be uh, 3 plus uh, 2 root 2 times uh, 3 plus 2 root 2. And by the binomial square, we know that that's got to be that's got to be uh, 9 and then plus 2 times uh, 3 times uh, 2 root 2 and then uh, plus 2 root 2 squared. Uh, but 2 root 2 is square root of 8, so uh, that squared will just be 8. Ah, you see, it works. Okay, so it's 9 plus 8 and then uh, plus, and then it's 2 times 3 times 2. What's that? 12 root 2. So we've got 17 plus 12 root 2. And look at that. Yeah? Okay, cool. Obviously, you can keep going and look at alpha to the third and so on and keep finding more solutions, but I'm not going to do that because ain't nobody got time for that. Um, all right, take care.